not essential if you don't have those weights. You can certainly do it without. So let's get started. So we're lying on the roller, making sure that the tailbone and the back of the head is supported by the roller. And just start to feel that neutral pelvis alignment, the hip bones and the pubic bone level to the floor, the two feet hip distance apart, feeling the eye gaze directly up to the ceiling. See if you can get a gentle softening of the back ribs down into the rollers, stretching them away from the back of your pelvis and starting that breath here. So taking a breath in through the nose and out through the nose today. And again, using this print just to feel which parts of the body might be settled on that roller, which parts feel like they're not making contact, widening through the chest, grounding through the feet, reaching the knees forwards over the heels. Good. And let's breathe in to prepare for that imprint. Exhale and keep at the hips under. And we're going to inhale, come back to neutral. And exhale and just imprint the lower back gently towards the roller. One more time before we take it to that pelvic curl. So just getting to feel what it's like to get your pelvis rotating around your stable legs. And then let's now roll up to your full bridge position, your pelvic curl now. Rolling all the way up on that next exhalation. Inhale at the top and exhale to roll down. So we might have Katie and Sue just come together again. Breathing at neutral and breathing out. Let's imprint and curl the spine up. Good job. Keep that going. So it's a very different sensation of the pelvic curl on the foam roller. The instability might make you feel like you've got a little bit of sideways sway as you roll the spine up and down, and more particularly at different points. Don't try to control that too forcefully. Just notice it. Start to see if you can really connect into your center, keeping the line up with your ribs and your hips as you articulate your spine, keeping the length from the two sides of your waist. And good job rolling back down. And as you roll down, let's really think about the length between the vertebrae, like you're putting little clouds between your vertebrae as you stretch your spine back down. Good job. Let's pick up our weights in our hands now for you. Beautiful. So one weight in either arm. Let's breathe in and breathe out. Let's roll back up to the top of your pelvic curl and just stay up there. Now, could you raise your two arms up above the height of your chest, palms facing in towards each other? If this series is too hard to hold at the pelvic curl, you can just lower yourself back down onto the roller. Let's do openings. Inhale, open the arms and exhale to close. So inhale, really breathe the arms open and exhale to close. So feel as if the width of the back and the width of the collarbones allows you to create a lovely hugging sensation of your shoulder blades around your ribs and that you're pushing the energy of the knuckles up through the ceiling to create that lovely cradle of the shoulder blades around the rib cage. At the same time, let's keep the sitting bones going up into the thighs, up through the ceiling. Last two. Looking really nice. Last one. Hold the arms above the chest, palms facing towards your knees. And let's switch one arm back, one arm down. And exhale, pause at the centre. Inhale. And exhale, pause at the centre. So have that little resetting moment as the arms come back up above the shoulders each time. Really feel the reach of the armpit out through the weight and the arm on that arm that lifts up above your head each time. Good job. So just feeling like there's a pivoting sensation at your shoulder joint and nothing else in the trunk and hips alignment changes. Let's even yourself up there and then pause at the top. And now we've got our doubles. It's an inhale to reach the two arms back and Exhale to come back down to the hips. Inhale. So you can choose how far down you want to bring those arms. You can pause above the shoulders or you can take all the way down towards the hip line, keeping the arms really nice and narrow. So Katie's got her hands side by side with those weights. So if you've got them crossed, you can cross the other way if you haven't already. Beautiful. So the challenge of the weight of both arms going back and coming down is what is really strong and challenging here. And once you're evened up there, just rest your weights down by your sides on the mat. Good. Let go of them. Breath in and breath out. Let's articulate the spine trickling down from the throat, settling back into neutral pelvis. Interlace the hands behind the head or let's today just have one hand resting on top of the other and then 
So this is challenging on that front roller. The only points of contact is your two feet down the ground and the spine on that roller. So it's really difficult to feel that sensation of centering and balance. But the beautiful thing is that the roller helps you to find that really all on your own. And you're constantly making these lovely little adjustments through your trunk to find what is balanced, what is square for your body. Let's do two more there, just starting to warm ourselves up. Keeping the head firmly rested into the hands, hugging the shoulder blades around the ribs. Lower your head, neck and shoulders down. Rest your two arms back down by your side, breathing. Breathe out, single leg lift on the right side. Inhale, lower. And exhale, left leg comes up. Now we're going to challenge it a little more with our alternating. See if you can change over and have a moment where your two feet would be off the ground at the same time as each other. Yes. So instead of doing the alternating where you're waiting for one foot to hit the ground before the other foot leaves, see if you can get a bit of a, a change over where the two feet are off the ground at once. Well done. Using the arms, really press gently down through the back of the shoulders, back of the arms, even though they're not making contact with anything, allow them to be part of your anchoring. One more to each side. Good. Once you're even up there, place your two feet down, hip distance apart again. Bring the hands back around behind the head. We're going to inhale to prepare and exhale. Let's chest lift yourself up. Now it's a hula. We're going to rotate toward our right hip and lift into single leg lift as well. So we've got the opposition leg going to lift up. Woo! So if that is too strong, or you find like the balance is not possible for you, just stick to roller number two. But this is intermediate level, and we're using the foam roller to its fullest potential here, really challenging your stabilization. So don't expect it to be neat and tidy all the way through these repetitions. Go with the wobble, embrace the wobble. Still trying to really pivot that hip disassociation, and also equally get some lovely rotation. Yes, taking your time. So let's do one more to each side, evening yourself up. Keep thinking about the two sides of the waist really growing longer away from each other as you find more forward curl. Once you're even there, let's lay yourself down. Good. Arms come down, maybe more like a 45 degrees angle away from your body. Bring your two legs up to the tabletop, ready for your spine twist. So this is small range of movement, knees and ankles and tops of thighs connected. Inhale, take yourself into a little rotation and exhale center. And other side, inhale to rotate and exhale to center. Beautiful. So you might see barely a movement if you are just watching on the screen, but to these guys and hopefully to you at home on your roller as well, it feels like a lot of work to try and get that twist to happen from the waist, keeping the shoulders anchored, keeping the ribs anchored, the back of the head, and the knees not sliding by each other. We can finish going over to the left, and we should be even there. Good job. And now tuck the two feet back down the mat, slide the leg out long. Here comes a big challenge, the roller. Okay, so if you'd like to separate your feet a little bit, if you need that extra stability, then go for that. Arms overhead. Let's inhale to find chest lift and exhale. Use the breath and see if you can come up and over in that seat curve. Good. Reaching forward through the fingertips, draw through the heels and exhale. Let's pivot the hips around those thighs and start to articulate back to the roller. Very challenging. And then 
the arms as a lot of support. Breath in, prepare, breath out, let's imprint and roll over with control. Beautifully done. Flex the feet, separate, keep distance. Exhale, let's articulate back down to the roller. Little circle down and around at the legs together and up. And exhale to roll over. Well done. So as you roll over, lift the hips off the back of the ribs and see if you can curl the spine out a little bit more so your sitting bones are running up the back of the legs and out through your heels. Good. Really plant down through the back of the shoulders and the arms. The eye gaze stay up towards the ceiling. Let's do one more. Beautiful. So think of the height in that curl there. Just rolling over to the shoulders rather than right over into the neck. Amazing. Amazing. Let's tap those toes carefully back down. Just roll to the side to come off the roller for yourself. Woo. Take the roller into your two hands. So one palm on one end, the other palm on the other end. Beautiful. Stretch the legs out away from you. Really roll the top of the thighs in to hug the legs together. Let's inhale to come up into chest lift. And exhale to curl forward. Now we're going to just reach forward and place the roller underneath the, the uh, ankles there. Good job. And then let's roll with control back down to the mat. Lovely. Stretch the two arms out long. Breathe in. Breathe out. Just come forward into chest lift and hold yourself there. Start pumping the hundred. Inhale, two, three, four, five. And exhale, two, three, four, five. So see if you can use the foam roller now to really suction the top of the thighs down into the mat. Good. They're not going to make contact, but you're going to really use that rounding. Now keep pumping and float the right leg up. Lower it down. Next, five with the left. Three, four, five. And lower. Two, three, four, five. Both legs lift. Didn't give you enough warning there, Justice. So the right leg goes. And then the left leg goes. Well done. And then it's both legs. Good. Keep pumping as little more vigorously with those arms, ladies. So it's the right leg. And down. It's the left leg. Good. And down. And then it's both legs. And down. Last set. I'm feeling kind here, although I think that should be a hundred. <laughs> Good job. And both legs. Good. Reach the two arms up to the sky. Keep the chest lift. And then let's curl up and over the legs. Holy dooly. Hug the heels into the bottom and hold onto the ankles. Lift the roller where it is for you. Beautiful job. So we're just finding our rolling like a ball. Let's cross our arms over at those ankles so that you're creating a tighter ball there. Yeah. Bring the head in towards the knees. Lift the back ribs. Inhale to roll back. Exhale to come up balance. Inhale to roll back. And exhale to come up. So see if you can keep a sensation of your trunk weight falling forward into your legs and pelvis. And then instead of throwing all of that weight back as you roll backwards, see if you can just feel that increased sensation to tip you off balance using that breath. Last two. Perfect job. Last one. And then put the two feet down, sitting up tall, reach your arms out in front of you, breath in. And let's breathe out and peel back to the mat. I'm just going to get rid of the weights for you, ladies. Now, press the two legs down together into the mat. Arms are going to be down by your sides for leg circles. Float your right leg up to the ceiling for me. Really feeling that anchorage of your bottom leg. Inhale, the leg goes across the body, down around. Exhale, across the body, down and round and up. Lovely. Explore the pace and the dynamic of how that leg can really sit oily in that hip joint. Beautiful. Keep sense of that reach out and down of that supporting leg into the mat. Last two. And then let's reverse. Exhale, out, around and down. Good. So it's challenging now to go away from the center line right away. Let's do three. So a few less in this direction. 
crazy, lovely, continuous last one there. And press that leg straight down onto the mat. Lift the left leg up. Inhale across, down and around and up. Exhale across, down and around and up. Good job. So I want you to feel as if the leg that was just doing the circle can slightly rotate inward and press down. Good. Stretch that left sitting bone a little further from the head. Yes. So it's a real movement in the hip joint. Let's reverse it now. Come away from the center line, down, round, and up. Beautiful. So as you bring that leg around, can the sitting bone really push the heel taller through to the ceiling? So there's a sense of reaching the leg out of the hip. Last one then. Lower that leg all the way down. Reach your two arms back over your head. Let's inhale to come up to chest. And exhale, curl forward up and over the legs. Stack the spine. Sitting to face towards the right hand side of your mat for side wrench. So we're going to do a Z sit position here. So we're going to have our right ankle towards our bottom and our left heel tucked in front. And we're going to have our hand, our left hand on the foam roller there. All right. So let's inhale to come out to the T position. Exhale, turn the top arm to the, palm to the ceiling as you side bend over and roll that roller away. And inhale, come back to the T and up. And then exhale, let's side bend over. So we're going to take it just to the one breath cycle here. Inhale to come up. And exhale, side bend over. So at intermediate level, you can start to change the breath patterns up. And we're doing less segmental pausing into that T position and more dynamic pace with our side reach here. Really focus on the side bend, trickling from the top of the head down through the neck, down through the thoracic spine. Last one. And then we're going to add a little bit of rotation to it as well. Coming up. And then exhale, let's twist around to that roller. Inhale, open and come past that line of back into extension. And exhale to rotate. So not only are we thinking of rotation here, we are thinking about forward curl gently in the spine and then also an extension as we wrap open, really opening the chest. Go to, lovely, last one, such an enjoyable feeling. And then let's come and switch sides. So let's come back up, change the roller to the other side, change the legs into the opposite sensitive position. Okay, so here we have the, the hand on the roller. Let's inhale to go over, exhale, side bend. And now coming up to the one breath pattern. Inhale up and exhale to side bend over. Beautiful. So use the, the dynamic of the roller, being able to glide in and out, letting it just kind of roll up the blade of the arm there. Keep anchoring the left hip back. And use that anchor as somewhere to really pour your spine over and away from. Lovely work. Two more. Try and make the biggest arc through that top arm that you can. Really feeling the shoulder blade coming around the ribs and out through the fingertips each time. Turning the arm out. Let's add the rotation and twist around. Good. So that right hand will have moved a little further back and that's okay. And exhale and rotate toward the roller. Inhale to open and lift up. Good job. Exhale to rotate. See if you can keep the hips square and just aim for more of that rotation at the top part of the spine. It'll, it'll trickle down to the lower part of the spine where it can too. Good job. Keep thinking of lifting the ribs out the hips. Last one. Perfect. And then come back to that side bend and gently sitting yourself up. Okay, we're going to turn from the foam roller underneath the feet. So let's, yeah, let's bring the roller back to the front edge of your mat. Good. Stretch the two legs out, ankles on the roller. And we're just going to peel back to our chest lift position. Good. Now hold here. We're going to use our roller to our abdominal sequence. So we're going to keep our, uh, let's bring our right knee into chest to see your leg stretch first. 
change. And change. Good. So find the roll at each time with that bottom leg if you can and give it a little push down and allow that to help you pull that leg closer towards you. Add the twist for number three now. Twist to that top leg. Twist to that top leg. Well done. Really, really lovely. So feel like you can rotate through the collarbones. Keep the shoulder blade hugging around those ribs. Yes, let's even ourselves up now. And once you're done, put your two legs back down. See if you can find the ankles on the roller again. Hopefully it hasn't rolled away from you. Stretch your arms out. Have a moment where you lay back. Glorious. Inhale, chest hips and go forward. Exhale, to go up and over. Ooh, that last one should be tricky. Take the roller into your palms again. So roll it in, pick it up. Stretch your two legs out. Put a shoulder width mat width apart. Arms out in front, ready for the spine stretch. So just have a moment here where it feels like your palms compress the roller as if it was a telescope that could kind of be smaller. You're pressing the palms gently to feel the narrowing of the armpit and to allow your spine to go up, 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 taller out of your center bones. Breath in, prepare, and breath out that spine stretch forward, up and over, keeping the arms up there, head. yes, so reach forward with the arms. Inhale to hold there and start stacking the spine up on top of those lovely sitting bones, anchoring down into the mat like tree roots. And exhale, curl. So can we drive forward through our heels, drawing the whole of the foot back towards the shins on both sides rather than just the toes? And feel as if the roller is giving our shoulders some really amazing feedback here so that your shoulder blades have somewhere to aim gently hugging the ribs, the armpits face towards each other. And instead of just diving forward with our head, we're feeling the sense of a long curvature up and over. Good. Once we get on back here, let's add the extension. So inhale, stretch the head away from the tail, lift the arms right up, and then exhale, let's round the spine and curl back up again. Good job. Inhale, prepare. Exhale, curl up and over. And we're going to inhale to stretch. Feel as if there's a laser beam attached to the crown of your head, pushing the roller away from you the whole time. Good job. Let's do two more repetitions here. If you're struggling to sit up tall on your sitting bones, make sure that you've popped a cushion or a towel underneath your back. Not underneath your back, underneath your bottom. That would be an interesting maneuver here. <laughs> Last one. See, instructors, we always make trip up our words and make little mistakes every now and then. Excellent. Now, rolling upright, lift those two arms up above your head. Join your legs together for your spine twist. So let's take a moment here again to climb up tall through that roller. See if you can get the roller to hit the ceiling because of how lengthened you are through your crown and your spine. Breath in. Breath out. Rotate. Good. Inhale, centre. Exhale, rotate, rotate. Using that pulse breath. That far further breathing, which allows the first exhalation to feel like it expels most of the air, and that extra exhalation to give you that extra little oomph around in your spine. Notice whether you're coming off one sitting bone as you twist around. You want to keep that even anchorage of the two sit bones. Lovely. Let's take one more to each side. Join the top of the thighs together really firmly. Last one to the left now. Come back to the center. Put the roller down. Let's put it down away towards your feet. And then split the legs open to mat width apart. So wider than you have for your spine stretch forward for the sore. Opening the arms out, palms facing down. Inhale to prepare. So you put me in a hurry. <laughs> We're going to do one breath count. Exhale and sore. Exhale, exhale. Inhale to come up. And exhale, exhale. So it's got that pulse breath about it 
one more to each side. It's looking great. Come all the way back up. Hold your arms there. Oh, sorry. I'm going to hurry too. Hold your arms there. Bring your legs shoulder width apart now. Arms come forward in front of your chest. Let's breathe in. Breathe out. Just go into a roll back position to prepare for your open leg long. So keep pivoting a little further there. So into a roll back. Into a roll back. Into a roll back. Into. Yes. Hold. Now we're going to sort of plug your right leg back into your hip and spine and lift your leg up and catch hold of it and put it back down again. Other leg comes up, catch hold of it and put it back down. So keep your arms quite high if you can as you alternate. Just getting some real strength in your hip flexor groove. Good. One more each side. So you're going to need that leg as a teaser. <laughs> Let's hold the left leg when it comes up into your hand. Let's see if we can take the right leg up too. Good job. So we can also take it to tabletop if we need. Inhale to tip that off balance. And we exhale ourselves up. Good. Inhale to go back. So see if you can set the plane of your body. Really strong arms. Hands pushing into legs. Legs pushing into hands. The sitting bones run up the back of the legs. Keep lifting up through the top of the chest as you come up. But feel the under of the sitting bones. Good job. Well done. Three more if you've got it in you. And last two. Woo. Here's our last one. See if we can pause, have a moment, take the hands off the legs and have a second if you can. And then let's bring the leg all the way down. Good. Reach forward into your spine. Stretch forward position just for a minute there. Keeping the legs together while we go. And we're going to roll back down to the mat with control. Lovely. Take the two arms a little way away from the body. The closer they are, the harder for your core screw. Lift your legs up towards the ceiling now. Okay. So again, feel the weight of the legs able to just sit down into the pelvis. Imagine that your mat is going downhill towards your hips and feet. Let's inhale, twist to the right. Exhale, circle around. Down, over to the opposite side and back to centre. Inhale to rotate left. Circle down, around, back up. So keep going. Really feel that rotation from the waistline. The pelvis and the legs are a passenger for that lovely spinal rotation. Keep anchoring down through the back of the shoulders and arms. Beautifully done. So if this is a little strong, just go for your side to side, your corkscrew preparations. Good. And then let's do last one here to the left. Bend the knees, put the feet down, hip distance apart, and bring the arms in close to your sides, ready for your shoulders reach. Heels in front of your knees. Breath in, prepare. Breathe out and let's peel up. Inhale, hold at the top, and exhale, let's roll back down again for you, just to get some lovely movement in the spine. Let's take one more to stay up there, and peeling up to the top. Now, really send your sitting bones into the front of your thighs, lift your right leg up to the ceiling, and really plow onto your two arms and your left leg down heavy. Let's exhale and press. Flex the foot kick. Exhale, press. So find a really nice amount of pace and dynamic here to challenge you. Imagine that you're inside train tracks here and you want to keep your thighs and your body nicely parallel and not escaping outside of the tram lines. Last two. See if you can keep thinking about stretching your left knee forward and then bring that leg back down. Other leg comes up to the ceiling. Have a moment. Square the hips. Exhale, press down. Kick it up. So as you uh, lower, you point. As you raise, you flex today. So 
And today we're going to just prop ourselves up with the temple at the hand of the temple, I should say. Good. So if this is enough challenge for you, you can stick with this. If you'd like some more challenge, you bring your other hand up to temple as well. So I'll leave that in your decision making. At least you know what they're doing. Hips stacked and then feeling as if you're neither rotating your chest down to the ground or up to the ceiling. Good job. Breathe in, prepare for the abduction. Breathe out and we're going to lift your top leg up. Inhale to lower. And exhale in. So we're going to do a couple here with the bottom leg down and then we will do a couple with the, the bottom leg hovered as well. So just enjoy this for now. We're starting to get that hinge point and using the underneath leg as feedback into the mat. Yes, last time. Lower the two legs down. Let's exhale, lift both legs up. Okay, bottom leg's gonna stay where it is. Let's exhale, lift the top leg from there. Inhale, lower. So we've just challenged it more now because we've got even less feedback into the ground for stability. Adding these layers into the intermediate level programming is really gonna be helpful. If you didn't have a full class of people that could take this variation, they could have stuck to having the bottom leg down. Keeping the leg parallel. Imagine the air is thick like honey and we're resisting it up and we're resisting it down. Now let's hold the two legs together. See if you can just pick the thighs up a little bit more. Inhale, lower the bottom leg down. Exhale, lift the bottom leg up. Inhale, lower the bottom leg down. Exhale, lift the bottom leg to top. So even though it's the bottom leg that is lifting to top, can you imagine that the suction together comes from both thighs? Really lovely. Stretch out through that right elbow point. Good. Feeling like the armpits are turning to talk to one another. Last three. And two. Last one. And lower your two legs down. I'm just going to pass the roller. So bring the roller back around in front of you now. And stretch your top arm long on that roller. Good. So I want you to just take your bottom leg heavily down into the mat. It'll be easier if you want to bend the bottom knee or bring it slightly forward of you. Side kick. So lift the top leg up. You're going to exhale and kick the leg forward with a pulse and then inhale to bring it back. Start with that and then we'll add our layers on from there. So kicking forward and bringing it back. So exhale and inhale. So challenge that leg going back as far as you can in space. Now, when you go to kick your leg back next time, I want you to rotate your chest down and push the roller off. Oh, amazing. And then think about rotating back a little. Yeah, as the leg comes forward. So we're just getting that amazing opposition rotation using the glide of the roller. Perfect. How's that feel? Does it feel yummy? Yeah, let's do two more. So just exploring that full range with the side kick. Keep thinking about that lovely hip disassociation, hinging at the hip joint, but feel as if you can get that counterbalance from the upper body rotation as well. Amazing. And now we're going to do that whole thing on the other side. So let's just sit up and switch over to the other side. You can keep the roller there. But just prop yourself up to start with the two legs out long. Line up your hip joints, stacked nice and vertically, one on top of the other. And just check that you're neither rotating down to the ground or up to the ceiling. Oftentimes, you'll have to remind people to turn their chest slightly up to the ceiling and their top hip forward down to the ground, and that will usually figure them out. Okay. So let's inhale to prepare and exhale with the top leg only. Yeah, inhale to lower. Exhale, top leg only. So just feeling like you're a Lego person and you've got that nice. 
beautiful. Keep thinking about the spine here in a side bend coming up over the top hip. So it feels like you're getting that length out through your left elbow and then still feeling the side bend through the upper part of the spine. Last one. Both legs come down together. Now you've got your roller ready for your side kick. So stretch your top arm out. Good. Leg can either be slightly forward or bent. So we've got two different variants here, which is nice. And then exhale. Let's kick the leg forward and inhale back. So start without adding the rotation through the upper body or the front roller. Just see if you can get that swing back and forward of the leg. Still challenging the leg going back. All right, this is the one we've been waiting for. So as the body, as the leg goes back, the roller goes forward into that rotation. As the leg goes forward, the body rotates back. Good. So see if you can create the largest possible reach as that leg goes back from toes to fingertips in that diagonal, like you're stretching a web out with your, your extremities. Good. Last one. Very nice. And then we can just swing that roller around towards your head end of your mat. Just leave it there for the time being. We're going to start with a single leg kick. So come up onto your elbows, ready for your Smith position. Okay, so the legs are together. And now really anchor your sitting bones going down to the top of your thighs. Press down into your forearms. Feel like you're almost traveling forward through your shoulders with your body being really lovely and long forward and up through your sternum. Good. Turn out through those arms as much as you can. Feel the armpits facing towards each other. Now, imagine we might slide a piece of paper underneath the thighs right now with a sense of hover. We're going to kick the right heel and kick, kick, shake, kick, kick, shake. So it's two kicks, and as you bring your heel to your bottom each time, you want to still think about that sense of lengthening forward and up through the spine and through the crown of the head. Good. So it looks like you're just sort of laying on your tummy watching telly, kicking your heels like a happy four-year-old, but this is very strong work when you're really supporting your alignment. Last one to each side. And then gently slide yourself all the way out long for your double leg kick. So let's take the hands up off the back of the ribs, as high up the back of the ribs as you can get. And the elbows coming down to the floor as much as possible. Turn your cheek so your eye gaze is to the right for me there. All right. Lovely. So again, feel the work in the hips before you've even begun. Sitting bones going down. Stretching your sternum away and feeling heavy through your rib cage. Let's kick the heels to bottom three times. Kick, kick, kick. Stretch your legs out. Stretch your arms out. Toes to the floor. And turn your cheek the other way. And reach. Well done. So keep that movement pattern going. When you kick your heels to your bottom, imagine that piece of paper sliding underneath your thighs so that you are lifting gently the thighs rather than just folding at your hip. Well done. And stretch the fingertips back toward the feet in opposition of your sternum going forward. Lovely. So we should finish now to the left facing side and gently down. Now reach your two arms out on top of the foam roller. Good. And you can experiment with how wide your arms are on the roller here. The wider, the easier. Okay. So I want you to just feel that lovely length. It's more the wrists that are on the roller to begin with for our cobra. The top of the thighs find a lot of connection. The ribs feel heavy down. Feel like you can really give way into the mat with your trunk as much as possible. While the armpits stretch the roller away from you and the, the arms are turning out. Let's press down through the roller, lift up through the back of the head, reach the sternum forward and start to come up into your thoracic extension and exhale to come back down again. And inhale, lift up through the back of the head. Good, the roller will glide gently towards you. Nice. So I just want you to feel that opposition of you almost gathering the roller in towards the back muscles whilst the body travels forward, almost like it's traveling forward up and over the top of your roller. Now you can start to increase your range. 
coming up into your full cobra wherever that feels possible for you. Good. And then exhale to come back down again. So you may like to rotate your palms if you prefer to, to rotate your arms as you come up and rest on the outer edges of your hands. That can help to give you a really nice feedback into the back of the shoulders and the work into the upper back. So that might feel more possible for you and can help people get that turnout through the upper part of their arm bone, which is going to stop them just from sitting down too heavily in the shoulder joint itself. Good. So as your roller comes in and your spine range increases, make sure you pick up your hip bones and anchor down through the top of the thighs. Here's our last one. Really enjoying that. Beautiful. Now let the roller be where it is. Just bring your hands beside your shoulders there, nice and close in towards you. Perfect. Let's curl your toes under and separate your legs hip distance, lifting your knees up off the ground. Okay. So feel the elbows. Of the 
the shoulder blades going around the ribs and out through your two hands here. So use that upright hold for your feedback. It's an inhale to come up. Just find your position where you're happy. Making sure the chest isn't rotating down or up to the ceiling. Hips are square as well, like you're squashed between two hands of glass. Inhale to lower down. Exhale to lift up. So think about lowering the two straight legs. That makes it a lot harder. Standing on the sides of your feet will also really help you to find that closure at the top of your thighs. Good. See if you can gently press the roller down to lift the body up each time. Last two there. Perfect. Last one. And carefully rest that right hip down. Take the roller into your two palms facing towards the end of your mat again. Tease up. So let's, I know, reach the roller and now score. We're so close to the end. Full body challenge. Let's curl this one down. We've all got a little mad one. <laughs> but in a good way. Reach your two arms over your head. Okay, we're going to go straight into teeth of three. Okay? So top of the thighs drawn towards each other. Let's get up and sweep from the head. Mental preparation for the teeth are essential. All right, let's inhale. Chest lift, the eyes catch the line of the toes and everything comes up together. And then exhale, imprint and roll down, reaching the arms back. Good. So use the rock. Use it to close the chain on the shoulders and feel as if you're squeezing the roller towards itself to gather you into your centre. So can you create with your teeth the narrowest line between your head and your feet all the way down your body as if there's lots of little bulldog clips just clipping everything together from the two sides in. Two more. Inhale to come up. And think of the timing of the teeth up. If you think of your toes and your eye gaze staying on the same horizon the whole time, making sure your arms are in front of you when you go to lift, it makes it a lot easier. That was our last one. And just like that, it's done. Now inhale, just come up into chest lift for me. And exhale, roll up. So we've got a little roll up there. Good. Can you reach forward so far that you can put the roller down on the other side of your feet? Good. Well done. And then let's stack the spine up. Cross the ankles, come over onto your knees and onto all fours. Perfect. So curl the toes underneath, underneath the hips, hands underneath the shoulders. Really, really lovely. Let's inhale, prepare, and exhale, lift the hips up into your feet. Pressing down through the heels. Let's inhale, rise up onto your toes. And exhale, lower down through your heels. Inhale, brighten up. Good. Keep thinking of those armpits turning to face each other. That is a very good. Like there's a string attached to your tailbone and hanging this shape from the ceiling. Press down through the heels. Walk your hands back to your feet in as few steps as possible. And just find your hips centered over the front of ankles, let's breathe in to prepare and breathe out to roll the spine back up to standing. Good. Join the heels together, find Pilates feet position with the feet. Let's inhale and rise up, connecting the insides of the heels together. And exhale to lower. Hopefully you feel a really easy stillness. One more. done so well. That was a very challenging program. If you're still with us, congratulations. And let's practice that program a few more times through. And then once you've got friends, family and clients that are able to reach that intermediate level, why not take them through intermediate foam roller work as well?